フルカウンター Alright, lads, welcome back to the Grand Cross video. And we have a new goddess in the game, a new Leducio. We all suspected we were going to get a new goddess. However, we hope there will be someone like Nero Basta because this is Leducio, which means you've got to replace Margaret off the team. And Margaret, like, buff and all that stuff that she does, is kind of important for the goddess team. So I'm not too sure what this character does yet, but kind of starting off as the L because if we're going to replace someone, it shouldn't be Margaret, it shouldn't be all Leducio, it should be someone like Sari or Tamiyo. So, um,. Yeah, big yikes there. We are going to get another free banner, though. So, hope there's a new character in here, but I'm not too sure just yet. Uh, just scrolling down quickly to see what we can see here. Um, hoping for Chandler. Okay, so they're returning the actual final boss, uh, Gluxy and Drool. Is Chandler in the tickets now? I wonder if he's going to be added now. Nope, he's not. So, yeah, other than the new character, not too much going on here. I guess, obviously, the final boss is nice, right? Uh, we are going to get, obviously, a free banner, so we'll check down a second, too. There is a new artifact card set as well, but uh, let's check out what the Ducio does, though. What's the outfit say? Oh, it's a seasonal. Oh, no, it's a seasonal. That's even worse, actually, because that means the character's limited, and he's not going to go in the general SSR. Why is he a seasonal? What, what, what even is he? Banner's good, though, in a way. I mean, good seasonal characters. Uh, then the free banner I'm more interested about. So, it is uh, full of Ragnarok characters and OCs. Ah, we can get Grimoire. <laughs> we can get Grimoire again. That's funny. Okay, so you can get... Okay, I wish there was a blue alert. That would be kind of nice. Um, the red loose is all right, I think, because you want to get dupes for, uh, for the actual... Uh, I think Demonic B battle if you use her. Uh, but, uh, I mean, Ragnarok Barnes the W. That's what we want, right? And I guess uh, getting Lost Vein 6-6 six, six is nice as well. But, uh, hey, getting Grimoire again, that's nice. But I can see already the character is a sub slot character. So, like, who would you use then? Like, what? Uh, him, the sub slot, Goddess Elizabeth, the OG one, and I guess Sario. That would probably be the best lineup now, right now. All right, this character has to be confused a little bit because, like, it's kind of going against what the team needs in a way, but we'll go for it. So the passive does say, for every goddess ally on the field or in battle allies, of course, works in sub slot, increase attack rate stats by 7% per goddess and also increase the damage dealt by the DCL by a 50 missing. However... Someone has translated it, and this is came on, to, on obviously Discord. He always translates it and gets it always right as well. Where he does say all stats of goddesses by seven percent. So if it is all stats of goddesses, that is insane because Mayel is gonna have even more lives to do and even more insane stats. So that is um gonna be kind of crazy because then obviously if it works as a sub slot, Mayel is getting I think seven percent already, so up to twenty one percent. So he's gonna get forty two percent all stats increase. That's surely not right, right? It's gonna be attack rate. It's kind of what the goddess team needs, right? Because Mayel needs to crit, but um yeah, that is gonna be an insane game changer. Uh, obviously the actual Lucio Flash Grace is the exact same, and then uh the actual single target skill is um single target piss. I mean, with the stat increase, and bear in mind, the relic he has got is really high CC. So this character has naturally high CC. Like, it's going to be a really, really good sub slot character. Probably one of the best of goddesses. Uh, but you can't use Margaret now. So, um... I'm not, I, like, I really like Bully and Margaret, so I'm a bit scared now for the, what the actual goddesses he can do. And it also as well, yeah, the actual shield... Okay, so... The, the shield is, um... The same as Goddess Elizabeth. And we just seen already that Goddess Elizabeth is making a bit of a comeback now. So, to have two, if you're using Goddess Elizabeth, to have two of the same skill on the same team, that's either one good because you can constantly keep on getting a shield, or two bad because you can't really use two together, right? So, um, kind of scary. But, though, like, he is obviously going to be an attack character in a way. So, like, his actual attack might be high enough to where his shield might be kind of broken. But then Elizabeth has, obviously, the relic that increases her shield by like 50%. So, I'm not too sure. The ultimate is the exact same, which is, uh, gives him a shield of 8% of damage dealt. Alright, so... How do I feel about that? I really wish there was this, if this was Nero Bastard, like FEMA Sario, insane. It would have been insane because then you can use Goddess Margaret and also this in the sub slot. So I guess it kind of balanced a little bit that you can't use both together. But, um, yeah, I don't know. With the wait and see, though, because this does say attack related abilities, but if someone else is translated to all attack. Oh, for a sub slot character, where there is attack rate stat abilities, then um that would make a bit more sense because fifty percent or forty percent attack rate. Oh, is that? Hang on, let me check what Barn does. So Barn does do ten percent. So people are using Ragnarok Barn right now on the sub slot. You're gonna get extra five percent, which makes a difference whether you crit or not. But also the character is a goddess. So when someone eventually does die, Leducio can come in and still get the bless of uh, son of blessing, whether Mayo applies. So you're still getting the thirty percent damage increase. So that is um. I know it's a, it's a W, but L at the same time. Like I said, because, like, Margaret's kind of like the go-to goddess right now. Good CC, good relics, good stuff going on with her. So, um, 
yeah, to, to replace her with this character, I mean, better, but, like, now you're using Godzilla and, like, Saria, which is still fine, actually, but, um, personally, I just like Margaret better, so I kind of want to use her, so kind of an L. Uh, but... Well, he, yeah, he would not be added. So what, let me see a special, actually. What's he, what even is his outfit? I'm not too sure. I, I, I don't know why it's a seasonal. I guess it's because it's a made-up outfit, because the character doesn't actually wear any other outfits in the series. Like, on Ms. Nebus Zeldris, he actually had, like, his assault form, which is made up, so it is a seasonal character, despite it not being seasonal themed. And uh, even from the actual skill effects... They all look like something he would do out of the series. So, um, I guess that's the reason why they made him a seasonal, which is annoying because, like, I just want more... I want more Seven Sins character, which I'm happy we got a little DCL here, an actual new Seven Sins character, because recently it just feels like we're getting festivals, collabs, and, um... You know, OC characters. So it's nice to get an actual new uh, services character. But did it have to be seasonal? Oh, is it? All right, let's see what it is. I mean, yeah, it's nothing seasonal about it. <laughs> Why is it seasonal? I mean, we've seen his ultimate before, but it's... Um... I mean, to be fair, we haven't used him in a while. Oh, I mean, yeah, to be fair, I guess they just use that for the story mode, but the Enduro forms, are they coming soon? Are they different? I don't think they're different. Nah, they don't, they're not different. Oh, that looks nice, though. That actually looks hard. But yeah, that's the banner. I mean, it's all right. I think most people skipped a lot of these characters. If you haven't gotten them, then it's just nice to get them for the first time. Obviously, Valenti, Blue Lia is good for, obviously, if you haven't done the actual Labyrinth, getting her is like an absolute carry. Green Eastern, a lot of people skipped her, but she is obviously good to get for the first time. And then the bottom characters, I mean, Merlin's kind of dead now a little bit, so L for her. And then, yeah, this is the free banner, free characters. Uh, I guess the only good thing, I guess, on this banner is getting Ragnarok Barn. I think I've gotten him once, so getting more dudes for him, although he's kind of been replaced a little bit now. It's uh, still nice to get. All right, yeah, I just checked just to confirm it is attack race stats and not always that increase. That'd be too broken, but in attack race stats, so you're gonna get 15, which is uh, kind of what the god is needed, right? Because then they're missing five, but you're gonna lose a lot of basic stats from Margaret, like up to like 30%. So is the 30% basic stats worth the 50 percent attack race stats? I uh, will have to wait and see. All right, new artifact card set. I think we could already get Scorn Hearty. I'm not too sure, but they, um, I guess added it now, but if all eyes on the same team or the same race, you're going to get a 50% attack rate stat ability. If that doesn't, if that's got not working PvP, right? Yeah, I'm not too sure. It doesn't really say it excludes PvP. So if that is true, that is just insane. Like the god is getting an extra 50% attack rate stats. You're getting 30? Hang on, bro, surely not. I mean, that card set seems broken if that does work in PvP, but you gotta remember, then everyone else can use it, right? So the four unknown team, the four demon team, everyone's getting it, so everyone's kind of on the same playing field a little bit, but uh, definitely gonna be more deadly towards characters that do more crit damage, like obviously Mael. So um, yeah, massive, massive buff towards Mael right now, man. I'm kind of scared now. Uh, my unknown team's been slapping. I still have a loss towards the Mael team, so uh, now I might lose here. And then, uh, yeah, we kind of went through it already. Nothing too crazy apart from a free multi. Uh, obviously, you get free tickets too. It looks like we can get that within like the first two days. So you can kind of just skip through that banner, which is kind of nice. And then, um, final boss blocks in here. You get the outfit again. And I think that's basically it. So yeah, boys, that is all for today's video. Make sure to check out the live stream later on on Amazing Channel. We're going to be going through the Agile Pants, just giving our opinions and talk about the characters and what it means for the Odyssey team. So make sure to come watch the Sacred Treasure podcast. But, uh, yeah, man, um... W by L. Like, if it wasn't a DCL, that'd be sick. Like, uh, could, it couldn't have been Nerebuster. It could be Goddess Denzel, Jenna, Zanaria, any other goddesses that, you know, don't actually have a character in the game. Um, yeah, it's really, Or even just Sari or Tami. We, 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 we usually do CL. So, replace Margaret. Maybe it's a balanced thing because maybe it would have been too much, but who knows. But, boys, thank you for watching and, uh, yeah, peace.